The universe is filled with mystery and strange phenomena. Some stories have definitive answers, others do not. History, good or bad, is a bottomless pit of information, with sources to read and leads to investigate. This is where we come in. To make sense of this incredible universe. And the events that occur within it. We are storytellers. We are archivists. In the early hours of June 30th, 1908, in a rather remote region of Siberia, people witnessed a cataclysmic event that would forever change our perception of Earth's vulnerability to cosmic encounters. A colossal explosion that flattened over 2,000 square kilometers of the Siberian forest. The Tunguska event, as it came known to be, remains one of the most mysterious and awe-inspiring events in recorded history. Over a century later, it continues to intrigue scientists and the general public alike. Today we will explore this devastating event in detail by examining its historical context, scientific investigations and findings, ecological consequences, and many ongoing mysteries that have ensued. To fully appreciate the significance of the Tunguska event, one must understand the historical context of the early 20th century. At that time, scientific knowledge of cosmic threats to Earth was limited. The study of asteroids and meteorites was in its early stages, and the concept of an object from space causing devastation on our planet was still largely hypothesized and theory-based. At approximately 7.17 am, a blinding flash of light illuminated the Siberian sky near the Tunguska River, followed by a substantial shock wave that flattened an estimated 80 million trees over an area exceeding 2,000 square kilometers. Eyewitnesses described a sky ablaze with fire and the shock wave was powerful enough to knock people off their feet and shatter windows in towns hundreds of kilometers away. The aftermath of the explosion was equally astounding. The region thereafter resembled that of a battlefield, with trees uprooted and scorched, and a thick layer of fallen debris covering the vast landscape. The remote location of the event presented significant challenges to early investigators, and it wasn't until years later that scientists could viably launch extensive expeditions to the site itself. In the immediate aftermath of the Tunguska event, various theories emerged in an effort to explain its true cause and nature. Two primary hypotheses took center stage. The first theory explained that a meteorite or a comet impacted Earth. The absence of a visible impact crater initially cast doubt on a meteorite explanation. However, the discovery of small stony meteorites called chondrites in the impacted region suggested otherwise. The debate persisted for decades. In 1927, Soviet scientist Leonid Kulik led the first major scientific expedition to the Tunguska site. His team's investigations revealed critical insights, including the discovery of the so-called Devil's Valley, an area at the epicenter of the event where trees remained standing, but were stripped of their branches and bark, thus providing further evidence of an explosion. Kulik's expedition was launched nearly two decades after the event, his fascination with the Tunguska incident stemmed from reports of eyewitnesses who described a blazing fireball streaking across the sky before the explosion. His expedition aimed to uncover the truth behind the mysterious event, and shed light on the nature of the celestial body responsible for the devastation. Kulik's journey to the Tunguska region was an arduous one, as he faced numerous challenges navigating the dense Siberian wilderness. Upon reaching the epicenter, he expected to find a massive impact crater, similar to those caused by meteorites and asteroids. To his surprise, there was no such crater to be found. The absence of a visible impact site confused Kulik, leading him to formulate the hypothesis that the Tunguska event resulted from the explosion of a comet or asteroid in the Earth's atmosphere. Kulik's research laid the foundation for subsequent scientific investigations into the Tunguska event. His meticulous analysis of eyewitness accounts and the distribution of fallen trees helped establish the blast's epicenter and provided valuable insights into the event's characteristics. Despite the lack of direct evidence, Kulik's work contributed significantly to our understanding of the dynamics of celestial bodies entering Earth's atmosphere. In the decades following Kulik's expedition, 
Researchers continued to explore the Tunguska event through various scientific disciplines, including astronomy, physics, and geophysics. Advances in technology allowed for the development of new theories, with the prevailing consensus suggesting that a stony asteroid or comet, rather than a dense metallic object, caused the explosion. Leonid Kulik's legacy extends beyond his investigation into the Tunguska event. His pioneering work paved the way for future scientists to explore the mysteries of cosmic events and their impact on Earth. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence supporting the meteorite impact theory was the realization that the object responsible for the Tunguska event likely disintegrated high in the atmosphere. It is possible that a meteorite or comet instead exploded high within the Earth's atmosphere, causing a wave of intensity and devastation down below at the surface of the planet. This theory gained traction as scientists studied the event's effects on the environment, seismic activity, and atmospheric phenomena. Regardless of the cause, the Tunguska event triggered revolutionary advances in the scientific community. It prompted scientists to devise a system for quantifying impact events based on their potential energy release. The Tunguska scale was introduced to complement other existing scales, such as the Torino and Palmero scales, which assesses the threat posed by near-Earth objects. This scaling system emphasized that significant damage could occur even without a large impact crater. The environmental impact of the Tunguska event was profound, it served as a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of ecosystems and the raw ability for cosmic events to have far-reaching ecological consequences. The slow recovery of the devastated forest highlighted nature's resilience and its capacity to adapt over time. The legacy of the Tunguska event has ignited global efforts to monitor and mitigate potential impact risks. Organizations such as NASA's Near-Earth Object Program and the European Space Agency's Space Debris Office actively track near-Earth objects on a regular basis, while proposed strategies like deflection missions aim to alter the trajectories of the hazardous objects. Despite a century of scientific investigation, several mysteries surrounding the Tunguska event remain unsolved. The most burning question in the minds of conspiracy theorists is the nature of the object that caused the explosion. Was it a comet? A stony asteroid? or something else entirely. Advanced technologies and international collaborations hold significant promise for finally unlocking these secrets. The Tunguska event of 1908 stands as a testament to the power of cosmic encounters and their enduring mysteries. While the exact nature of the Tunguska object continues to elude us, the event has greatly influenced our understanding of cosmic threats, inspired by international efforts to protect Earth and underscored by the importance of preparedness in the face of the unknown. As humanity ventures further into the cosmos, the lessons learned from the Tunguska event serve as a poignant reminder of our planet's vulnerability and the imperative need to safeguard its future. Perhaps there might be a need to create a Starfleet-like organization after all. Thank you for tuning into this episode of the Unit Archives. Please like this video, comment your thoughts on today's topic, and hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all our episodes. If there is a particular story or topic you'd like us to cover in a future episode, let us know in the comment section.